Guess what? What? We're getting it. <laughs> what? <laughs> In case you couldn't hear that note, which was probably only audible to dogs, I said we're getting a dog. We're picking her up tomorrow. We're driving 10 hours in one day to get her because we didn't realize how far she is. She's like in Miami. Yep. And we are not. But today we're getting all the doggo essentials. Yeah, we have a long list of stuff to get and we're gonna get the house prepared for her tonight. And then we're gonna go get her tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned. just got some stuff at a local pet store and now we're going to Ross for like the less dog specific yeah. stuff so it's hopefully cheap. This is essential for the trip tomorrow because like we said it's like a five hour drive. Look at these adorable pastel tennis balls only three bucks and they squeak. We're gonna get them for sure. As you're wearing your Scrabble shirt, wait, it's perfect. Can you tell he likes Scrabble? Do you want to get it? You can play tug of war with her. No. Let's get it. This thing is so not durable at all. Well, we don't know how she'll be with toys. If she tears it apart, then we know for the if future. If I tear it apart right now, then we're not getting it. If you tear it apart, we're going to have to pay for it. <laughs> it's only 20 bucks. This video is sponsored by Rowdy Pups. No. That's nice, right? I think so. But it is very cute. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. I think it's a good size. It's probably big, but yeah. She'll probably fit perfectly. Yeah. Okay, we just got back from shopping and we're gonna give a quick haul of everything we got. First, yes. the pink collar, which I was very insistent that we got pink because it's cute. We got a black basic leash. black leash, nothing fancy. We also got this easy walk harness, which has the leash attachment at the front of the dog so that when they're walking and they pull, it like turns them. Instead of pulling on their neck, like their collar and also not pulling on their back like some harnesses, it's just, I think it's gonna be good for leash training the dog. Yeah, it's supposed to make it easier to train and make them walk better. One thing that the rescue did tell us is that she's horrible on a leash because she yeah. never was leash trained. So that's probably gonna be the biggest thing we have to train her with. So hopefully that'll help. Let's do toys. Sure. Which are all in this bag. Here, you wanna show this one? This was your pick. It's a Scrabble toy. <laughs> it's the play tug of war. And he loves Scrabble as soon as he buys a shirt. So we had to get it, we could not get it. I gotta think of a bingo with those letters. <laughs> okay. And then AJ also insisted on this one. Oh yeah, this thing is tough. My my childhood dog growing up had one of these. Oh, like that exact thing? Yeah, yeah. Oh, like same I brand didn't know and that. And they are. I'm worried hard she's not to gonna destroy. like it because it's like so hard to squish. This is gonna be her favorite. We'll see. It's gonna last us years. Then my picks. I got her this donut toy because it's actually, it doesn't look super durable, but it is because like the inside isn't stuffing or anything. It's just a giant like squishy thing <laughs> that squeaks. So the only soft part is the outside. So I think this will hold up for a little while and it's cuter and easier to squish, but yeah. we'll see. We'll see which it's one's pretty, her it's favorite. It's pretty tough. Yeah. That seems pretty tough. And then the last thing we got, which I think I did show, are these super cute tennis balls. They're like pastel uh -huh. pink and purple and they also squeak. And you know, you can't not get your dog tennis balls. She's gonna play fetch. Yeah, so those will just be rolling around the house and we're gonna trip and follow them and we're gonna 
then I guess like food supplies. Sure. So like I mentioned earlier, she is very far away. She's in Miami, which is about a five hour drive from here, assuming there's no traffic, which there will be. Yep. So that Saturday. means- Saturday. Yeah. That, oh, and it's Memorial Day weekend. Oh crap. So that means we're gonna have to stop for like pee and water breaks for her. So we got this travel, well, why did I hold that so high? We got this travel water bowl and it like, pops out like that and then it can fold up. Oh my gosh, it's hard to do with the packaging on, but you get the point. So that'll be nice and convenient to stop and give her water, but it doesn't take up a lot of space. This is her real bowl set and it's elevated off the ground. We'll have to see if they're actually big enough. These hold like two cups of food, um, but I don't think we're gonna be feeding her that much. Yeah, we're not really sure how much we're gonna have to ask the vet tomorrow when we pick her up, but I think yeah. it'll be good. But if not, we can return it and get something bigger. Yep. But yeah, it's cute, it's on a little stand. It's supposed to make it better for them so they're not like bending down as far. Absolutely. And then to go under that, we wanted a mat, but all the mats there were big and like fluffy because they're like bath mats. So AJ suggested a drying mat. Yeah, because it serves the purpose. Yeah, like it's meant to catch water. So this should be yeah. good. So this will go under that in case she spills water when she's drinking. And then for the actual food, we haven't gotten that yet because we're not really sure what she's eating right now in the place that's holding her. So tomorrow we're going to ask them and see if they think we should keep her on that or switch her to something else and see if they have any recommendations. So we'll get that on the way back tomorrow once we have her. So we have some training treats. Yes, so like we said, she definitely has some training to do. So we got these training treats and these are good because they're really, really small and you use a lot of them, which is why they have to make them so small so you don't fatten your dog. So they were buy one, get one 25% off and I assume we're gonna use a lot. So we got beef and bacon flavor. Some little bone treat things to give her during the day when we're out. Got like peanut butter and chicken and milk. Yeah, flavor. we wanna just get her a little treat, something to chew on when she's bored. But the main thing I'm thinking we'll probably give her when we're out of the house, and, cause like these are probably fine, but I'm a little paranoid about like leaving her with these without us here in case she like swallows Finishes a piece them. and chokes or something. <laughs> oh, that too. Or that. But these are really good cause they're like super hard bones. Like literally like would probably break tile if you dropped it on it. And they have like a filling on the inside. And all the dogs that I had growing up loved these. So we got her one of these, and this is probably what we'll give her when we're like out of the house, especially the first few days, because we're not exactly sure how she'll react. So yeah. And then when this starts to run out, you can just fill it with like actual peanut butter. Yep. So that'll be good. And last but not least, <laughs> the staple milk bones. Of oh, course. we had to. This thing was a steal. It was 10 pounds for what, like $17? Yeah, and I don't know if that's a steal. That's probably it's well, okay. Good. It sounds like a steal because the smaller packages were what you said this was like 10 times more, for yeah. like three times the price. Yes, so, so yeah, <laughs> for one pound, it was like seven bucks. Mm -hmm. I was like, well, and this that, is 10 right. pounds. This is cheaper than chicken, I'll tell you that. Well, as yeah. of 2024, May, much cheaper, cheaper than, chicken. than chicken per pound. So, yeah, that's everything we got. It was so Hello. Ignore the star face pimple patch on my face. It's 12, 19 a.m. I almost said p.m. a.m. Technically the morning of the day we're getting our doggo, um, but obviously not quite there yet because we have to sleep. Sorry, I keep touching this. We got everything set up for her. Let me show you. Look at her adorable doggo bed. It looks like it was supposed to be there. Like it looks like it was made for that spot. It's so perfect. And then this is the random pile of stuff we're bringing for her tomorrow. We, we're just throwing stuff together and we're going to put in a bag in the morning. I guess that's her water bottle, even though I literally put that water bottle on the counter and said that's for her. But, you know, men don't listen. So this is the stuff we're bringing for her, plus those bags in case she has to poop. <laughs> anyway, I'm so excited. Like, it doesn't feel... Sorry, I always hold... Like whenever I talk with a pimple patch on, it feels like it's gonna fall off. So I just like put my finger there. But anyway, I'm just so excited because it feels kind of surreal. Like I'm so excited, but it doesn't feel quite real that we're actually getting her because when we first applied, it was very much up in the air. So I'm super excited. I just can't wait to meet her. Like I feel like once we actually see her in person and we can pet her, it's gonna feel so much more real. But I'm so excited. 
We have an alarm set for 5.45 a.m. Goal is to leave by 6. We're literally going to roll out of bed, get dressed, brush teeth, grab a granola bar, and go. Really hoping there's not too much traffic, but I'm so excited. I don't know if I've said her name already or not. Technically, she's already been named by the rescue that she's at. Part of me was considering changing her name just because, like, I feel like that's part of the fun of adopting a dog. It's, like, to get to name them yourself. But her name is really cute already. So I think we're, like, very heavily leaning towards keeping it, actually. But we'll let you guys know tomorrow. Anyway, I'm so excited. I have to go to sleep, but I know I'm not going to be able to last night. I literally slept so horribly and kind of the night before too. I've just been sleeping really bad this week, but like especially last night I slept so bad. I had a dream that we had already picked her up, <laughs> but like, you know how in a dream when like you know that it's like normal in the dream, but like it's technically very off from real life. So like in the dream she was like a completely different type of dog, but it was like totally normal. We didn't question it. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I had a dream we got her last night, but I was like tossing and turning all night, struggling to fall asleep because I was just like so excited and thinking about her, but that was last night. So like tonight is going to be even worse because we're literally picking her up tomorrow. So like, I feel like it's going to be even worse and harder for me to fall asleep because it's tomorrow. Like tomorrow's the day. So I feel like I'm not going to be able to sleep at all tonight. It's already like almost 12.30 a.m. And we're leaving at 6 a.m. It's like, I need to sleep as soon as my head hits the pillow, but it's just not going to happen, which is really unfortunate. I'm going to do my best. Also, sorry if you have been struggling to hear me. We're running our dishwasher, and it's really loud. But anyway, see you guys in the morning. I'm so excited. I hope I can sleep tonight, but it's it's very doubtful. Yay. Good night.